Hello everyone, it's Barry here. All right, Boston? Say hello, mate. All right, um, playing the role of the butler, pug. Some of you might understand that joke. If you looked at my last video, the homemade Rolos. Anyway, uh, today we are making a mini food. If you've missed any other mini food attempts, there's a playlist with a link should be up here or down below in the description. Mini foods, tiny foods, miniature foods, always a bit of a challenge. And today we're doing the heavily requested I want to say heavily requested, I've had at least one request uh, for mini beans on toast. So uh, quite a popular uh, dish in uh, the UK generally for breakfast, like cooked breakfast uh, beans. Uh, in the different countries you have like different flavours of sauces with the beans, but ultimately on toast, which we're going to make really, really tiny. Let's see if we can do it. For peace of mind, Boston is going to play the role of the bouncer in today's video, just in the corner, keeping an eye on proceedings. So here is our mini food armory today. We have got two uh, mini frying pans, one for our bread and one for our beans, uh, our standard chopping board. Big old slice of bread, which we are going to really have to cut that down and probably try and get two slices of bread out today. And the beans, which will drain off uh, using this mini sieve. Got loads of little cool mini things coming on here. I'm still loving how many of these people have sent. I've got about five of these now, so thank you so much. So I've got my scalpel knife there, and for scale, this is the plate we're using. I've just torn that bread up quite roughly, and I'm going to try and get, as I say, uh, two slices on there. Uh, so let's just start to try and cut it up uh, with a ruler into some relatively straight pieces. And yes, I am taking the crusts off. I'm sorry there is that myth, isn't there? If you eat crusts, you get curly hair, but I am removing those. I do not want an afro. Okay, that's one piece. Oh yes, that is gonna work a charm. So I'm just gonna use that as a template uh, for another one. Alrighty, that'll do. They look a little bit like pillows actually. Uh, let's see if that works. Oh yes, toast is ready to be toasted. All right, so uh, extremely low flame for an extremely small pan. Uh, we're not gonna put any oil in this. We're just gonna dump the bread in like so and let it toast. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that away from the flame. That is pretty uh, hot. Uh, we're using the tweezers to push it around and turn it over. It is starting to get a little bit of color already. Actually it feels safer just to like flip it in the... Oh my God, no it doesn't. Ha ha. Okay, cool. Ah, there we go. Check that out. It's got amazing color on that one. I've changed weapon. I've gone for this thing that I think is just designed to get dirt out of your nails and stuff. Remember, this is actually a brand new clean kit just for mini food purposes, folks. It's not my nans. Right, the toast is done. Let's let that cool down. That is insanely hot. I've just opened the tin of beans and yes, there are way too many in there that we need and also they're way too big, but with the help of a measuring spoon, this is an eighth of a teaspoon, uh, the smallest one that I have, and also uh, a mini jug, which I hope to use this for a future mini video. Any ideas for the jug? Because I do have some cups as well. Make I do like a mini coffee or something, or design a one. Uh, and also this mini sieve. What I'm planning to do, I need both hands for this, is scoop out a bean. Okay, here we go. Sit it on there. Yes. This is not working as much as I thought. Well, I'll get a bit more sauce on it this time because what I was hoping was that we could catch the sauce through the sieve, which would then go in the jug, and then I'm just got left with like a naked bean. Hmm. But the sauce doesn't actually even want to go through that sieve, so it's okay. It's practically naked anyway. What we'll do is start to just put our beans on the chopping board like that. There we go. Oh, it's dripping a little bit. But um, yeah, we'll just get the naked beans. I'm obsessed with the word naked beans today. Naked beans, naked beans. Okay, so I'm now having my beans. I might even do this, a big one, that one. I'm trying to do this in thirds. Yes, yes. Some are stronger than others. That's cut really nicer. This one just went to mush. So what I think I might do is repeat this over and over until I've got lots of nice little neat ones like this. So there we are, our very own mini uh, custom baked beans. These are the discards, teeny bit too big there. So what we'll do is just push these into our pan, like so. Let's add some sauce to it to make it even more beanie again. About half a teaspoon of sauce going on there. Maybe just a teeny bit more actually, just to make sure it's fully coated. We don't want to burn them. Yes. Okay, let's put this over the heat. Before I do that, I am just quickly uh, buttering the toast as well with another foot device thing. I don't know what that is, is that a file? Could be. Now it's made for buttering mini toast. Is everything all right? You still keeping an eye out? Good boy, good boy. All right, again, very, very low flame. Let's get this down. It should not take long to warm up. There you go, check that out. They're already warm. We don't want to completely singe all the sauce away. So that 
is ready to join our toast and we can build it up. Okay, so there is our mini uh, Winnie the Pooh plate and we're just gonna tweeze her on. Woo! Our toast, looking very cool indeed. In fact, I could probably have got another slice in there. And now with the help of the spoon measurer, just putting down those beans. Alrighty, let's get a bit more sauce on there. <laughs> looking good and this time I'm gonna try the tweezer approach with the other piece of bread, sticking those beans on there. Wow, it's a little bit fiddly, but folks, we have pulled off the mini baked beans. I thought this was gonna be easy, but yes, that was a bit tricky. And as always, for scale, here is a uh, well, tangerine, satsuma, orange, whatever you wanna call it, amazing. Let's see what this tastes like. There we are then, folks, another successful mini food. As I say, check out the playlist if you wanna see some other ones, and do let me know down below any other mini food suggestions you have. Roast dinner is very popular, in fact, but let's have a taste. All gone, bit cold, <laughs> but it's good for portion control. Amazing guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on social media for pictures of mini food and other stuff. And I'll see you again next time.